This is a nice location. Hey, this is Andrew Lim inviting you to go out on a limb. So I am here, of course, in New York City. It's almost August, it's really hot, but I am really excited because today I'm gonna go check out a brand new restaurant. It's called Hu Tong. So Hu Tong is a common name for a, uh, an alleyway or a little road in uh, Northern China. So you find that in Northern China. And of course, uh, there's nothing small or narrow with this restaurant. It's a fancy restaurant. Uh, you find this restaurant in London and Hong Kong as well. And it focuses on Northern cuisine. Uh, but of course, they have dim sum as well, which is ironic because dim sum is from the South. But it's really popular. So they have to have dim sum. And of course, Peking duck. So come check it out with me. Located on the Upper East Side of Manhattan where the popular restaurant The Cirque once stood, Hu Tong calls this 19,000 square foot high ceiling space home. The space includes an elegant 140 seat dining room with an 83 seat lounge and a bar in a separate section with private dining rooms as well. The interior design is reminiscent of the 1930s Art Deco Shanghai. They don't try to be too ambitious with the menu, which explains why the reviews in so far have been largely positive. Um, on the appetizers, you get a mix of um, food from all the Chinese regions uh, that you see at other restaurants as well. Uh, but on the second page, you actually see a lot of the southern stuff, the dim sum, uh, the barbecue meat, as well as the soup. And on the third page, they're back to the uh, northern Chinese cuisine with things like mala dishes, Sichuan peppercorn, uh, as well as cumin spices showing up. And the last page, of course, it's vegetarian and your carbs dishes. So the hutong prawn rolls, it's amazing. It's light, crispy, uh, with prawns and scallop fried to perfection. The kosui chicken. Uh, kosui actually means sliver in Mandarin. Uh, so it features a poached chicken with tender meat in an appetizing chili broth that is served in room temperature. Uh, it's delicious. The Zhenjiang pork ribs are equally amazing and tender as well, especially when they are braised in aged black rice wine vinegar from the Jiangsu province. Right, so the pink one is our uh, rosé champagne shrimp dumpling. Uh, the green one is our spinach dumpling. The one wrapped in the black squid and quanton is our red robe lobster dumpling. And the one on the side is our pickled chili and cod. Uh, right. Pickled chili and cod dumpling. Wow. Uh, chilies aren't edible, but think of it as like a buried treasure, if you will. The chopsticks, uh, grab the chopsticks and kind of dig through the soft shell crab from underneath the chilies. It's beautiful. The Peking duck is a classic here, uh, and it's carved table side. The meat is succulent, tender, and not too fattening. They also use some of the meat to do a refreshing duck lettuce wrap, better than P.F. Chang's chicken lettuce wrap, if you ask me. The desserts are really great. Um, I honestly forgot what I ordered. Uh, by then, I was already in a food coma. Uh, from what I recall, I think one has soy milk in it, uh, while the other has a peach jelly. All. Uh, put a perfect ending to our meal. So this was definitely a great meal and it delighted all of our five basic senses including hearing because despite having a packed dining room the noise level was never too loud. 
and we could have a pleasant conversation. So enjoy the Chinese food renaissance in New York while it lasts. Go check out Hutong today.